All right, everybody, how you doing? Got a video for you today. Uh, what I'm going to need you to do is make sure you're like, and a lot of you aren't subscribed. Uh, most of my videos get a lot of views of people who aren't subscribed, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video. Leave a comment below, really helps. Uh, but today we're going to find out what is the most windproof insert. Uh, and I have for you the yellow flame. Single torch butane, double torch butane, pipe insert, and regular insert. That one might be dying. Looks like it's dying. <laughs> but if, if that one should, I'm, you know what, even though that one's dying, I'm going to bet any money that this still performs the best out of any one of them. So, uh, so now to do this test, I have a desk fan right here. I've been using it for quite a few years. It's a great fan. Uh, it's not too strong that it's going to blow them all out. Uh, cause I was going to use a different fan for this and it would just blow everything out. You couldn't lighten it. This fan was so strong. Uh, but this is a strong, uh, this is a strong enough fan that I use on my desk. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, you're going to hear it kick into hyperdrive here when I turn it on. It just makes a funny vibration. but uh... So she's up to full RPM there. So uh, we'll start off down the line. We'll work all the way to the end. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, but there is like stronger points of the fan that's stronger. Like wind is coming out of the top the strongest. So we'll see when it comes to the top what's the best. So this thing, it can stay lit in the wind, but not, not in the strongest part. Oh, it does. Barely stays lit. But outside in the wind, trust me, that thing goes out. I use them enough <laughs> to know. But then the single torch. Oh, yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing takes out that single torch. Uh, the single torch is pretty damn windproof, man. Uh, I gave my mom a single torch in her uh, 540 kimono I gave her. That was a gift from JM. Uh, she uses that because of how windproof it is. She absolutely loves that. I have to say, the torches, if they're good for anything, it's their availability to lighten the wind. So now we'll move on to the double torch. As you can see, they're all pretty wind resistant. Even in the highest... The closest and highest that the thing goes, it still lights really well. And then we got the pipe insert. Yeah, she just barely stays lit there. Look, well, stays lit though. Like even though wind is blowing through that big hole, she still stays lit. Gotta love that. And now we move on just to the regular. Yeah, like I said. It would probably be the best. Look at the size of that flame. Even on the strongest part, man, that thing is still going. And then you would just stick what you want to light right in there. So there's the windproof test, guys. Not a super long video. Not a super interesting video. But <laughs> you get to see how they hold up in a pretty good, pretty good winded breeze there. Uh, that's that's breezier than a summer day. Let me let me tell you that's that's a good little amount of wind. The fact that they all perform that good and that wind is pretty good because I can feel this from like six feet away. Like my face is six feet away from the fan, I can feel that blowing on me. So that's a that's a pretty good wind. Um, now what are what are the best for windproof? The regular insert. Every time, eleven times out of ten. It's always going to be better, uh, but the torches are better than the yellow flame, but the yellow flame's good too, but a lot of the times I have to, I have to do this when I'm outside with it. I, I do that a lot with it. Uh, it's not always as easy as lighting it up like that, and then any wind is blowing it to the side. It's hard to get. Uh, so the hand, it's just like a Bic lighter. You got to use your hand, uh, which I don't like, but that's why this one doesn't, isn't, I don't leave the house with it. I leave the house with this one all the time. This is the one I leave with all the time. That's what I'm always using. That's what's always in my pocket. You can tell by the brass on it that it's the most polished 
Like it's it's the most it's I call this the perfect tarnish. When it gets to that, you don't see scratches and it's just beautiful everywhere. Like uh that's what I call the perfect tarnish. And that's what it's finally come to. You can see the other ones, I don't carry the Venom one the Venom one very much, so uh it just sits on the table so you can see it hasn't gotten there yet. It takes way longer. Uh but so that's just what I found on the uh windproofness of these inserts i uh, hope you guys found it useful take care let me know what you thought down in the comments i'll see you in the next one